There's something about libertarianism. We talked about it a little bit last week, I think, where um, like it, it's libertarianism isn't easy and you kind of got to earn it. And you like it's 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 helpful to have a bunch of skills, bunch of knowledge and not just be a specialist and stuff in order to be a little more free um, and rather than rely on other people to do a whole bunch of stuff for you. Um, yeah, that's that's well said. There is a little bit of an effort there. And, you know, the opposite of what I sometimes call intellectual laziness, it's hard to be a libertarian and completely intellectually lazy at the same time. You got to put in a little bit of uh, effort. You can't rely on, well, fill in the blank, what your neighbor's going to tell you, what right. the television's going to tell you, uh, what some goofball podcaster's going to tell you, of course. <laughs> I would um, also add, like, culturally or socially or psychologically lazy, too, because it takes a lot of sort of self-awareness and work to be able to be ostracized or to be outside of the majority and it's we're hardwired as social beings to be accepted by the group and when you're not that's a pain point that i think evolutionarily a lot of people try to avoid unconsciously mm. yeah i think you're so right and that is well said it's a it's a real challenge there are those who would point at our party and say that explains why we have the people inside the party that we do. And that may be right. <laughs> it's, you know, people that are, are prone to, to, ha to, to having been ostracized. Yeah. Uh, so this is not the first time. Yeah. Yeah. It, Alden, that, that statement about like wanting to be, you know, part of the group, wanting to be accepted by your community, that I think that's a lot of why, libertarians try really hard most of the time to focus on local stuff because like if you if you're the people in your immediate neighborhood aren't on board with what you're trying to get at then it's never going to happen for you in that place so then there's the perception of community and when we base it on the media and the broader national sort that's of focus of community exactly then that's that's sort of an illusion of community and then when you get boots on the ground and you get real things or when you get like the great create and you get people together and you're like oh we do have like you know common denominator type beliefs and things like that and I'm that can be really helpful one. yeah <laughs> yes. exactly yeah